dive into the world of the 1960s TV series Flipper, a show about an extraordinary dolphin and the human connections it forms. It's not just another animal show, it stands out for its touching stories and beautiful ocean scenes. The dolphin's almost human-like behavior adds to the charm. When did you first watch it? Was it when it first aired, or did you catch reruns or hear about it from family? The show's appeal isn't just about the plot. It's also full of surprising, humorous, and emotional moments. These have helped it stay popular over the years. What's your most memorable moment or personal story related to the show? Maybe there's a specific episode that you remember fondly, or it brings back memories of watching with family. We'd love to hear what you think in the comments. Let's keep exploring Flipper and what makes this TV series so special and loved even years after its first episode. The TV show Flipper, famous in the 1960s, really made an impact on its viewers. It's about a smart dolphin and became a hit, especially with people who love sea life. The story is set around this dolphin and a family living in a beautiful Florida park, focusing on adventure and how the family gets along. The main characters are two boys, with the older one played by Luke Halpin and the younger by Tommy Norton. Their dad, a park ranger played by Brian Kelly, is also central to the story. The show revolves around the boys and their adventures with their special pet dolphin. The fact that there's no mother in the series makes the dad's role even more important. One of the cool things about Flipper was its excellent underwater filming. It was pretty impressive for that time and made the sea life look really lively and interesting. This made the show not just fun to watch, but also really good to look at. During its three seasons on NBC, the show had some famous guest stars like Andy Devine, Marshall Thompson, and a young Burt Reynolds. This kept viewers excited to see who would appear next. After the show ended, Brian Kelly, who played the dad, had a bad accident and left the public eye. This was a big deal for fans because he was a favorite. In short, Flipper wasn't just for kids, adults liked it too. It mixed adventure, family stories, and awesome underwater scenes. It's a big part of TV history, especially for those who watched it as kids. In the classic television show, the age gap between Brian Kelly and Luke Halpin, who played his son, was notably small only 16 years. This closeness in age added a unique dynamic to their on-screen relationship, bringing a sense of realism and relatability to their portrayals as father and son. The journey of Luke Halpin in the series is particularly noteworthy. Following his role in the initial Flipper film, he seamlessly transitioned into the lead for the sequel, Flipper's New Adventure. This film, completed in early in the same year but released in the summer, set the stage for his continued portrayal in the television adaptation. The quick shift from the movie to the TV series is evident in small details like his wearing the same red t-shirt in the final scene of the movie and in the pilot episode of the series. This episode S.O.S. Dolphin showcased a noticeably younger Halpin who was only 16 at the time compared to his appearance in later episodes filmed when he was 17. These insights into the production and casting of the show reveal the careful planning and continuity that went into creating a seamless transition from film to television. The close age gap between Kelly and Halpin, along with a quick succession of Halpin's roles, contributed to the authentic feel and success of the series. The creator's attention to detail in these aspects played a significant role in bringing the story of a remarkable dolphin and its human companions to life for audiences of all ages. Riku Browning, the screenwriter and producer, drew inspiration from an ancient Spartan Greek legend for his book, which laid the foundation for the first movie about the intelligent dolphin. This legend narrated the story of a dolphin saving Taurus, the son of Poseidon. The tale's adaptation into film was directed by Ivan Tors. In recognition of Luke Halpin's skillful portrayal of the boy befriending the dolphin, Tors presented him with a unique piece of history. He gifted Halpin a ring, featuring an antique coin from the Spartan city of Taurus, showcasing the boy on the dolphin symbol. This ring, coated in gold and restored, became a significant part of Halpin's attire, visible in numerous scenes of the series and in his later work as an adult actor. The series' third season brought a noticeable change in Halpin's appearance. At the age of 19, Halpin joined the National Guard, which required him to have shorter hair. This change was incorporated into his character in the show, reflecting a blend of the actor's personal life with his on-screen persona. A notable aspect of the show was the real-life home of the dolphins used in the series. Mitzi, Little Bit, and Mr. Jipper resided with Milton Santini in Grassy Key, Florida Keys. 
This location, now known as the Dolphin Research Center, played a crucial role in the series, providing a natural and authentic setting for the dolphin's habitat. These details about the series, from the historical connection in Halpin's Ring to the blend of real-life elements like the National Guard involvement and the actual location of the dolphins, added layers of authenticity and depth to the show. They contributed to creating a unique experience for viewers, making the series not just a story about a dolphin and a family, but also a reflection of real historical, personal, and environmental elements. In the first season of the show, actor Andy Devine played Hap Gorman, a character who stood out and left a lasting impression. Devine's role added something special to the show, making the story more interesting. The main character in the series was Porter Ricks, played by Brian Kelly. He was a single dad, which brought a real and deep element to the show. His role was important in showing the family side of the story, giving viewers a look into the life of a dad juggling family and work. Luke Halpin, who acted as Sandy Ricks, was known for doing most of his own action scenes. This was especially clear in the Shark Hunt episode in the second season, where he bravely wrestled big sharks. However, in some episodes like 300 Feet Below in the first season and Firing Line 2 in the third, Dolphin trainer Rick O'Berry took over for dangerous stunts. These included jumping from a helicopter and dealing with explosives. Halpin's willingness to do his own action scenes made the series more real and show with how committed he was to his role. These parts of the series, from Devine's memorable acting to Kelly playing a single dad and Halpin's involvement in action scenes, played a big role in making the show popular and memorable. They mixed deep characters, family stories, and exciting scenes, making the show a significant part of TV history. During the making of the TV show, Rick O'Berry, who trained dolphins, shared a cool fact about them. He noticed that dolphins knew themselves, and to show this, he let them watch their own TV appearances by putting a TV underwater. This shows how smart these sea creatures are. A fun fact about the show's early days is about the third episode of the first season. It was actually made a year before as a test episode. This filming happened right after they finished making Flipper's new adventure, the second movie. You can spot a small detail here Luke Halpin wears the same red t-shirt in the last scene of the movie and in the first scenes of the TV show showing how the movie and TV show are connected. The show was also the starting point for several actors who became famous later. The actors like Martin Sheen, Jessica Walter, Burt Reynolds, Linda Day George, David Soul, Bo Svensson and Robin Matson were in the show before they were famous. Their roles in the show add to its importance in TV and movie history. So, this show was special because it showed how dolphins could understand TV, link the movie and TV series smoothly, and was a starting place for famous actors. It was more than just entertaining, it gave us a peek into how smart marine animals are and helped new talent in showbiz.